The Mayor of London has described the capital's dirty air as a public health emergency. UK scientists are estimating that air pollution cuts British people's lives short by an average of six months. We're here on the Strand and we're going to find out if people are aware that we're standing on one of the most polluted streets in London. Do you think that there's an opportunity for change to happen with our pollution rates or do you think there's nothing we can do? Um, are you aware of the pollution problems with London being one of the most polluted cities in the world? Yes, I've heard things on the news, but yeah. Hello, I'm Rachel Shannon and today on the programme we're going to be investigating the link between sleep deprivation and our health. Virtual reality is one of the fastest growing markets in modern gaming, but it's not just the entertainment industry that is excited about the VR boom. The excitement carries over into healthcare, with surgeons being able to train within a VR headset for surgery, or an architect or a set designer can get inside their space. As the technology becomes more affordable and more accessible, it means that I was able to go down this week to a VR pub where they've installed a booth that you can go and experience it for yourself. I went to find out more. Rules Restaurant London. Established in 1798, this is the city's oldest working restaurant. It's been used in James Bond's Spectre as well as in Downton Abbey. So we're going to go on a little walk down movie memory lane and also grab a little bit of lunch too. You might have heard the phrase, in the limelight. Did you know it actually does refer to somebody standing in the limelight? Back in the 1800s, when they were using gas lamps to light the stage of a theatre, it was such a huge fire risk and they were really dim. They moved to, literally, limelight by putting a little piece of lime into a flame, blasting it with hydrogen and oxygen to create a really bright light for the actors on stage. So maybe there is a little bit more of a link between the arts and the sciences than we might have thought. <laughs> 